interesting to see how everything has to work together. There's about 15 groups and um, everyone does something different. Oh yeah, we were gunning for this. This is our capstone project, our final design project. There were a ton of different um, prototypes that we could choose and we wanted the humanitarian one. I'm pretty excited for it just because uh, a lot of the other projects that were offered, um, there's not a whole lot of building. Um, we're building a sociable recumbent tandem bicycle, which basically means two people sitting side by side, and ours is a tricycle style, so three wheels, um, one in the front, two in the back. For John Montalvo, it was the humanitarian project. He's handicapped, has limited mobility in his legs and arms. Um, he enjoys riding bicycles and getting exercise, but it's really hard for him to. So we're designing a bike especially for him. Uh, it's very rewarding for the fact that um, it could really change somebody's life. This should be okay with just uh, hanging over the edge a little bit, you think? Um, our group was contacted to build um, a mobility device for this guy. He's got um, real bad muscular problems, um, can barely speak, um, barely walk. He's got to have a lot of assistance. Yeah, we're still good. Other groups, we all have our own project. They're sponsored by companies. And it's just nice that ours is really going to help someone. We were commissioned, um, it's a humanitarian project through the college. Uh, they sponsor us. Well, that looks good there. His family contacted uh, the school to have a mobility device built for him so that he could get out and um, kind of get some exercise for his legs. There's two sets of pedals, and since John is not that strong, he has his own set of gears so that he can set it to any sort of strength that he wants. Oh yeah, this is better. While the other person can go at their own speed, he can even take a break and stop pedaling if he gets tired. <laughs> we also are equipping it with bucket seats so that he's um, supported on all sides. There's going to be over um, shoulder seat belts uh, around the waist and also straps for his feet because he has a hard time keeping his feet up so that we'll secure him into the pedals so that it'll be as easy for him as possible. So we decided to build the um, tandem tricycle um, for him so that he could have a family, family member um, next to him while he's, he was pedaling on the, si on the other what? side. Well, it could have gone with four wheels, but it uh, would have been tougher to design the steering and all that. And the stability the fourth wheel would have provided wasn't all that much more compared to since the weight's in the back of the tandem majority. But uh, we wanted to go for lightweight. They mentioned that was a concern of theirs. Does so that one look good? Uh, and it's really a balance issue. Um, for him, it'd be really hard if it was just two wheels, uh, like a normal tandem. So it's like butter. Uh, I think it better not break, or else I don't want to go back into the shop and remake everything. Is what I think. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we, we want to play with it a little, little before we uh, hand it over to the Montalvo. At that moment when we can actually ride the bike, I mean, it's, it's basically a finished bike then. And it's, gonna be a, it's just going to be a proud moment where you can sit back and say, hey, we actually built that ourselves. And it's just going to be probably one of the biggest accomplishments of my life uh, to this point. So this is the big test. This is a big test. <laughs> Hopefully we don't disappoint. Today we're just testing it out. Uh, we've been building for about two months. And today is the big day to test everything out before we give it to uh, John Montalvo, who we're uh, making it for. We've heard other stories of uh, people testing them and, you know, wheels going out with the, you know, just hard bangs and fixing the problem, so have a little fun with it. Both of us crashed and burned. We're thinking to solve the problem of the chains falling off to attach some little, like, C brackets that just stick up. We made it almost. <laughs> almost, yes. Yeah. The only problem was that these were shifting upwards and loosening the chain, and then that was causing some problems. But we fixed that, and now there's another problem. Not only do we have to build a prototype, but we've got to build a working prototype that's going to last and uh, a person can use on a daily basis. Really, you just say how to test it out and redesign things and uh, make it make it perfect. Yeah, that might work. It's pretty rewarding. Uh, it's definitely nice to get outside for once and not be in the basement of an uh, engineering school. Uh, you know for eight hours a day, so it's definitely nice to get out here. It looked cool. It looked cool. It was starting to come and take shape, and you know, it's not just a set of bars anymore. Now we're finally getting our tandem together. I think they'll love it, we'll love it, it'll be a great day. <laughs> I think it's gonna be 
pretty, pretty awesome. There you go. A lot of self-satisfaction, not only to say we built that, um, but it's also going to be very satisfying knowing that uh, John, who is getting the bike, is going to be able to get outside and ride the bike, and I think it's going to be quite touching. I hope he likes it. <laughs> for a ride? I mean, working with the family itself just makes it a lot more personable. Well, he's just lit up about the whole project. Are you ready, Johnny? All right. I'll probably be really nervous, but once he gets in it and he smiles and likes it, then I'll be able to breathe easy and like, okay, I did okay. I'm look up, so he's looking up to the sky. <laughs> You're giving someone else the ability to do something they haven't been able to do. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good capstone to my MSU career here. But it's well, okay? Look up when, you're, when we're riding, okay? No mires para abajo, okay? It hasn't been so emotional yet, but I think when we really hand it off and see the excitement on his face. No, and if he, there you go, Johnny, you got it. There you go. He can go backwards. He can't go forward, though. <laughs> we saw excitement on his face even when we've talked about it. And when we hand it off, I think it's just going to be a completely different level of excitement. I, and I think it might blow us away. And it's, it's just going to be really touching to see um, what you do and how it can change somebody's life and just completely make them so happy. Yeah, te gusta? Huh? Oh yeah, it's mine. <laughs> like, it's our design, it's our craftsmanship. Yeah, this is kind of the, the class you work for uh, throughout your four years in, in the engineering school. The project was wonderful. The bike turned out great. Learning how to build something from scratch, it's a nice life skill to have. It's just nice if I see it on the road, him enjoying it, be like, oh, I built that. That's mine. Well, you see an expression on his face. I think that in itself is, you know, makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> right, John? <laughs> Te gusta? Te gusta? Dile a él. Te gusta la bicicleta? Yeah. Tell me like it. I like it. Yeah.